and we're looking at a huge jump in the month of January, reaching the highest level that we have seen since 2021, far exceeding the expectations from Wall Street. And taking a look into exactly what we're seeing from this index, rising 9.1 points to 78.8. Putting that in perspective, it's the biggest month-over-month -month jump that we have seen since 2005. And wrapping in inflation expectations into all of this, and this uh, the latest here from the University of Michigan, but inflation expectations also coming in a bit lower here. Consumers expecting prices to climb at a rate of 2.9% on a year-over-year -year basis. That's down from 3.1% a month earlier. So more positive here on some progress in terms of inflationary pressures, therefore leading to higher confidence and at least cons a consumer sentiment at this point in the new year. Yeah, it's really going to be interesting, especially going forward, where among consumers, the sentiment continues to move in specific categories. I mean, we've gotten a good reading on the consumer over the course of this week, whether it be retail sales, whether it be some of the earnings that have started to trickle through. And one of the interesting kind of takes that we had even received earlier this week from the former CEO of Hudson's Bay, former CEO of Toys R Us, um, Jerry Storch, was just in those categories of weakness that the consumer is still pushing back. And department stores seem like they're still going to suffer in the midst of that. And then additionally, you think about some of those home and appliance stores. They're going to be under pressure as well here. So that might be one particular sentiment read through where consumers are still pushing back on price or just don't need to replenish a refrigerator that they just got two years ago uh, or a new lawnmower, which spells out bad news perhaps for John Deere for Toro, uh, even though John Deere has some new uh, artificial intelligence, more large cool. scale things that yeah, they going on. Which, good luck to him on that. That but, was on full display at CES. Too. Yeah, at the day. In, in, anyway, coming back to the consumer here on the end of the day, um, I think that's exactly where Jerry Storch was pointing to. There may be continued weakness, uh, and we'll see what that flow-through means for some of the sentiment numbers as Yeah, well. but certainly a massive jump here, and just taking into account a lot of the optimism around the Fed cut, a lot of the yeah. optimism that the Fed has really made progress in taming inflation. So consumers are still spending whether or not it's going to hold up, of course, is the question everyone's asking. I'm right trying now. to buy a John Deere AI. Uh, well, I mean, I don't even purchase. know what the thing is. The, yeah, the lawnmower, yeah. Uh, I got to get a lawn first.